here's some credible science, or lack thereof, that has me wondering how some of these research centers decide what studies they're going to perform. Case in point, Barbara Davis Center for Childhood Disease uh, did a study in 2008 that discovered, or at least they promoted, the findings of autoimmune diabetes in some individuals being provoked by the insulin production within the body. The brain perceives the insulin production factories, the beta cells, as being public enemy because they're dwindling the glucose supply too quickly for the brain to be able to be adequately fed. The brain. The brain is fascinating, especially when it's working properly. And the, the job of the brain is to protect the brain because that's the global command center up there. You've got to have what that center needs to function. If you have a child that's newly diagnosed with diabetes and you go about treating that problem with the very same hormone, insulin, that caused it, um, I, I did venture to say that your science is flawed. In 1999, Barbara Davis performed a study that they wanted to find ways to suppress or to mitigate the autoimmune disease. And they thought that using BCG, the very um, same vaccination that Dr. Fassman is using for her cure research, um, they used BCG to see if it would suppress the autoimmune attack in early onset type 1 diabetes. Okay, you know, it's a, it's a good premise. It's a good study to go about and see if it is or it isn't. But they didn't see that BCG suppressed the autoimmune attack. But if you've got a new onset type 1 and you have to treat them with insulin, why would you use recombinant DNA? You know, okay, this is afterthought, like I said, it's 2008 information and it's 1999 information, but if the recombinant DNA insulin does in fact provoke the continuation of the autoimmune disease, you would find that the availability of residual beta cell function, i.e. C peptide, wouldn't be so healthy. And uh, look, I'm I'm one of the first generation, the guinea pigs, for recombinant DNA, so this is why I speak out about it. I don't think it's the very safe means of treating new, new onset type 1 diabetes. You know, if you do have a disease that's caused by insulin, human insulin, and provoked by that insulin, why would you treat that very same illness with the recombinant, something that works even faster than that thing that caused it? craziness I don't know but it's outside the box it's contrarian it's not what's going it, it's not it doesn't justify the necessity for all of these pseudo drugs and 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 supplemental treatments they're coming out with for t insulin dependent diabetes if you've got insulin dependent diabetes I'm sorry bottom line is you need to take insulin why wouldn't you take an insulin that possibly mitigated the autoimmune attack allowed you to keep the residual beta cell function you may have from that point on and and possibly stave off long-term complications if you had a choice to choose a better insulin for the treatment of your disease would you i hope so and from right now i just i don't feel like that choice is out there it's dangerous if you don't know that your blood sugar is dropping and it could consequentially be lethal and it's not fair um yeah i'm all about fairness so um subscribe at alliesvoice.com or on youtube to get the videos and uh yeah comments questions hate mail all of it same place same girl i'll see you next time guys